hello again and thank you for joining me and as you can see I have some more beautiful She Modern products again packaged beautifully in these resealable bags with the informative card and these gorgeous thank you stickers this one seems to be like a, you can see that rainbow and that one is more of a holographic twinkle now inside just on looking it does look like each shade is exactly the same now if this is the case then for each double one I will do a flash giveaway but until I actually open them and see what's inside I do not know if they are exactly the same so let's get on to this Again, I don't want to rip this sticker because it is so pretty. And I don't know if I can... I think I'm going to end up ripping that one. Oh, no, there we go. We've got the finger underneath. We can get that. There we go. Take that off of there. Ah, that's why. It was a bit of tape. So we're going to tape that that side. Inside here we have neon pink and yes neon pink both sheer colour so it's a bit weird because that one does look a bit brighter than that one but they both say pink neon again with the purple purple neon and purple neon ah I can see yes so the lighter of the shades if you can see that purple it's got a glitter on it so sadly no flash giveaway that was my bad my eyes so we have a sheer color and a well they're both sheer color but one is a plain opaque cream and the other is a glitter so apologies for possibly making some excitement there thinking I was going to be doing a flash giveaway but that was my bad as I say I did wonder why there was possibly two of the same in each so oh I ripped it now I know why it's that sellotape so we'll just open this one and then we'll come back okay so you can see again we have both reds One's cream, one's a glitter, and that looks orange. Again with the blue. And this darker green. And this pink. So, we have some gorgeous, gorgeous colours to play with. I don't know what design I'm going to create with them. So I'm going to go off and have a think and then we will come back and see what we create. Okay, so what I have done, please excuse this tissue, it's what we left had left over from Christmas. So what I've done, I painted this tip white, although it was already white, and I've applied some foil glue and I've sorted out the creams and the glitters. And I'm going to create the same look with both, but one's obviously going to have a cream finish, one's going to have a glitter finish. And the reason I've used foil glue is I'm just going to tap some of the, each of the pigments over the nail to make like a rainbow nail. So I couldn't think of my words. So that, I was just checking to see if that foil glue is dry, and I think it should be. So we're just going to tap some of the pigment on in random spots. I'm not going to rub it in because I want to cover the whole nail and make a complete mess. <laughs> We'll add some blue, that's a nice pigmented blue. We'll add some down there on the tip. So bear 
bear with me while I open all of these and create this. I should possibly add that one doesn't want to seem to come out. And I don't know if I got the glittery one on this side and not the cream one. And I think I possibly did. So that was a bit of a mistake on my part. So we will quickly swap those around and try the pink cream. And as you can see, that comes out a lot easier. I'm going to do three of the pink. And check them all now to make sure I've got the cream ones. And we'll put some purple here up against that blue if we can and um, some down there and a little tap there to so say there's eight of each in this collection I'm hoping this works. Now we have the darker of the two blues, and oh, that is coming out very much so. I'm going to do the back with that one, and we'll put this bit there. You can see it. Looks a bit messy. I hope I haven't spoiled it. This is the darker of the two pinks. And finally, the green, the darker green, just to fill in those gaps and now even though I am covered I'm going to zoom in a bit and with my finger I'm going to push all of those powders into that glue let's see if we can tap off any excess you can sort of rub it into the foil glue to blend them. But you don't want to over blend because you'll merge the colours together and that will make a pretty mess. So that's what I created with that one. And the foil glue on this one is already dry. So we're going to do that again, but this time with the glitters. I have nothing to wipe my hand off, and maybe not, because I'm going to get covered again anyway. So the green glitter. I mean, you could push those into the foil glue now, so they don't merge as much. The blue glitter. And we're back with a pink glitter for this one. And then the neon purple. Okay, apologies if my camera cut out there. I don't know what I was up to, but I've done the red and now we're up to the darker blue. I'm 
trying not to get the two shades of the same, like the two blues together, but somehow I think they possibly will. So we're going to do a darker pink at the bottom there, and then there, and a spot there, and then finish off with the darker of the greens which doesn't seem to want to come out I think that is possibly the glitter in it I'm not too sure oh there we go so that one there a bit there final bit there and I've made a pretty mess on my fingers. <laughs> and that's what that looks like before we press it in. Now I could, I'm going to try this a different way. And I'm going to tip off and to tap the XX, excess pigments. And then I'm going to push in with my finger. And that will give you a more subtle effect. Can we blend over the foil glue? And we can. So there. That is the two difference. So we're going to have a tidy up. And we'll come back and top coat. Okay, so I am just going to quickly make sure there's no more pigment to come off by using a fan brush and then I'm using a water-based top coat first start at the bottom of the tip and then paint down Like so. Let's say you can see all the colours are very pigmented. We might put some stamping over this, we're not too sure yet. So, again, I'm going to come in with the glitter one now and just lightly swipe just to make sure any excess of the pigments. And then give this a top coat. And that is the glitter one. I'm hoping that is picking up okay on camera. It looks absolutely gorgeous in person. So there are the... Are they all sheer colour? Yep, they are the sheer colour pigments in cream and glitter from She Modern. Absolutely fun to use. I've knocked them all over. But yeah, so fun to use. So many possibilities. If I do add some stamping, I'll add my photo at the end of this video like I always do. And check out the links in the description box below. But gorgeous, gorgeous colours. You can see the cream ones are a lot more pigmented. Well, I say a lot more pigmented. The glitter ones are pigmented, but obviously because they're cream, they have more of a solid colour. But absolutely gorgeous from She Modern. Thank you so much for watching, and till next time, bye.